In this video we will compare two of the most successful World War II German tanks. The Tiger I and Panther. This video will not have conclusion or any personal opinion. Enjoy! Tiger I details designed 1938-1941 in service 1942-1945 mass 60 tons armor 120mm gun 88mm engine 700 horsepower maximum speed 45.4 km per hour fuel capacity 540 liters power weight 13 PS 9.5 kW tons confirmed kills destroying at least 10,300 enemy tanks, and 11,380 at guns and artillery pieces in World War II. This was achieved for the loss of 1,725 Tigers negatives it has also been called over-engineered. Using expensive materials and labor-intensive production methods. In the early period Tiger was prone to certain types of track failures and breakdowns and was in general limited in range by its high fuel consumption. It was expensive to maintain, but generally mechanically reliable. It was difficult to transport and vulnerable to immobilization okay when mud, ice, and snow froze between its overlapping and interleaved shacktaloffwork pattern road wheels, often jamming them solid. This was a problem on the Eastern Front in the muddy Rasputitsa season and during periods of extreme cold. Panther details in service 1943-1945, Nazi Germany, 1944-1949, France, designed 1942 produced 1943-1945, 1946 9 post-war for the British Army. Mass 44 tones armor 16 to 100 mm gun 75 mm engine 690 horsepower power weight 13.7 horsepower ton maximum speed 55 km per hour fuel capacity 730 liters the panther was intended to counter the soviet t-34 medium tank and to replace the panzer 3 and 4 everthless it served alongside the panzer 4 and the heavier tiger 1 until the end of the war it is considered one of the best tanks of World War II for its excellent firepower, protection and mobility although its reliability in early times were less impressive. The Panther was far cheaper to produce than the Tiger I key elements of the Panther design, such as its armor, transmission, and final drive, were simplifications made to improve production rates and address raw material shortages. Negative despite this the overall design remained described by some as, over-engineered. The Panther was rushed into combat at the Battle of Kursk in the summer of 1943 despite numerous unresolved technical problems, leading to high losses due to mechanical failure. Most design flaws were rectified by late 1943 and early 1944, though the bombing of production plants, increasing shortages of high-quality alloys for critical components, shortage of fuel and training space, and the declining quality of crews all impacted the tank's effectiveness. Write in the comments what do you think is the best and why. Also write what should I do next.